You're listening to Crowning Ignorant Kings, a podcast for citizens with light minds who love God, follow Christ, and have a desire to be an ambassador for the kingdom of heaven on earth. We are John and Charlene Donaldson. We're teachers building a kingdom community. Thank you again for joining us. Now let's adjust our crown. You knuckleheads been acting this certain way, yeah. so I'm going to set you guys aside right now till you get yourself together, and I'm going to work with all of these people who, you the know, nation who, they weren't, right. Yeah, this is not their culture, but they have an opportunity. Right, they're practicing the principles. Like you said, yeah. the, the, he reigns on the just as well as the unjust. Mm -hmm. If you do what you're supposed to do, you're wondering why your boss is a millionaire or got all of these things, and they living like hell. Mm -hmm. Because there's some areas where they're practicing principles, principles. that you're not practicing. Principles are not prejudice. It, not work, at all. They work for whomever will put them into practice. So if they put them in practice, they're going to get the results. Right. So it's not like I'm a pick and choose. Oh, you don't live right, so I'm not going to yield to you. It doesn't work like that. It's a principle. It's the results are locked in the principle. Right. That when you practice it, this is the result. It's automatic. It's yeah. not going to change. So whether it's the, the reward, the benefit, or the punishment, they're both all already in the principle so mm -hmm. whether like you say god is punishing me there's like no the word is right there the rule is right mm -hmm. there the law is right there so if you practice it you get the benefits and rewards if you don't practice it then you lose it or you mm -hmm. you know that's a, a, a form of death where you miss out on what you could enjoy um because you don't practice the principles and sometimes i guess people are not exposed and don't have an understanding of what it is i really believe that even when you don't know and your heart is sincere and you're you're in communion with God daily and you're in his word, God will, through some way, shape, or form, reveal something to you to kind of let you know and put you on the right track to where you want to go because he's letting you know he desire he wants you to have it. Right. You know, we're, we're supposed to be wealthy, not just financially, but spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically wealthy and healthy because that wealth, financial wealth, is to be shared with other people. You know, the common, you know, common wealth of people, the community, but right. those, there should be nobody in this world that's lacking because there's a certain group of people who have so much money and they practice principles. They did certain things, right. and people we look at, you know, oh, they don't need all that money. And, this, and that may be true. They don't really need all of that money right. to live off of right. because they have so much money that they start doing little foolish things with it. You know, yeah. like... When you say they practice all the principles. Yeah, <laughs> but they don't in, practice all of them. In certain Some areas. Some of miss out on the moral yeah. ones. Like but, giving and... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The giving part because people have the mindset, you know, I, I, this is mine. But everything actually belongs to God. Right. And Common wealth. Because, they, you know, his principles and the laws of it work for anybody that put them in practice. You know, you may say, well, why God allowed this, that, and the other? He put them laws out there. They principles, whoever practice them, you know, that's the sad part. We have to wake up as far as those that are part of that community of believers look to Christ as, you know, our big brother, our heavenly father, that we have to wake up and realize that that's what God intended. We are supposed to have it, but we have to practice principles. We have to be mindful. What is it that we're saying? You know, what is it that we're believing? And I thought about something. This was something I wanted to mention earlier with Abraham that in Romans it says, you know, when God talked to him, he said, I have made you a father of many, many nations. nations. It was past tense. Right. He didn't say, I'm making you. I decided I'm going to make you right. a father of many nations. He said, I have. H-A-V-E. So Abraham the, just had to come in agreement yeah. and he then acted out the and principles. When he, um, and it said, Abraham believed God that he would become the father of many nations right. so he knew at that time that what God was saying to him wasn't clearly visible but because he believed it you know God said I, it's already done so out of obedience and, and staying in righteousness with God which was by he believed God right. 
So by him believing God, his journey in navigating to that place was all in righteousness because he practiced the principles. He obeyed God. He stayed in alignment with God. He respected that authority and he believed, he said, believed in hope against all hope. Right. That, that he, he would, would become, become the father of many nations. So, And even not being perfect. Yeah. He, he wasn't a perfect man. He no. lied. He messed yeah. up. You know, did some things that God wouldn't be pleased with. Yeah. But God already, like, I'll, I use the thought, you know, people say, well, it was in God's plan. God doesn't plan for these things to happen, but he has a plan for them. Yeah. So he already know that it's going to happen and he works it into the plan so that you still get the outcome that he desires. Mm -hmm. But he didn't put it in there. Oh, I want, I'm going to make him lie or mm -hmm. you're going to do this and that on this day. It's still no. going to work together. Right. For the good. He puts it in into the plan like i always think of it like your gps if you put in the destination ahead of time even if you make a, a wrong turn or mm -hmm. take an alternate route it still recalculates and gets you back okay. to where you should be so god puts those things into the plan because he already know you're going to make a mistake you're going to fall but you're going to get back up get yourself together so we're going to get back on track mm -hmm. but he doesn't say like people say my wife and i deals with a lot of abuse different types of abuse childhood sexual abuse you know all these types of things and that uh question would come up in someone's mind how why would god allow that to happen to me and i i say to you know to those people you know god gives us all the power of free will and he knows that that person who harmed you know someone else made a choice out of their own free will and he put that into he ain't playing that he didn't want that to happen but he still worked it into the other person's life that is still going to work out you know although this thing occurred this other person was acting in free will and did something wrong mm -hmm. I didn't intend that. I didn't want that, but I'm still going to take that and work it out into what I have for that other person's life. That's always a thing for me that I don't, I don't always know how to answer that. That's another <laughs> yeah, topic that's another or another subject. Topic. Sorry, so, I, I was using that <laughs> example, but so we don't want to get that's but, um, another podcast. Follow mm -hmm. us on Arrested Development. <laughs> uh, we don't want to. Uh, we want to seek God's kingdom, and we want to be mindful of what we're saying. Because one of the things I know in Romans, it took, uh, I've heard people say the sinner's prayer, or uh, what's the the scripture? You know, confess with your mouth the Lord. Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead and you shall be saved. The word confess as we said is confess, confession you know to say the same thing as God has said. You have to come in agreement with God. You have to come in agreement with what he has said. It, you can't come with your own personal thinking and agenda. You have to be in agreement with what God's word says about Christ. You know if you, I will confess with my mouth, the Lord Jesus, and believe in my heart, which sometimes, and this getting into, we're not going to go too far into that, in Romans, when they're talking to a particular group of people, there are reasons why certain things were said, you know, confess with your mouth, the Lord Jesus, because at that particular time, some of the people had to really understand who Jesus was when he was on the earth. Mm -hmm. You know, that this was the Son of God, God Himself in the flesh, the kingdom of God dwelling among you, embodied in, you know, but Emmanuel. some of them, Emmanuel, yeah, God in man. So a lot of people did not believe that during that time. So, and some did, some didn't when it came to Jesus the Christ, the anointed one. So when we read and study the Bible, we have to understand why certain things were said and what did they mean by saying that. So it's just giving us an understanding. Some things we are not going to go too far into, but it's just, you know, being mindful. Watch your words. Say the right thing for the right thing. Right. Learn what you need to say. And my, my wife and I were talking just before we closed. We were talking earlier and I... I was reminded about something that's in one of my teachings and I talk about the faith triangle so as she was talking about watching your words it's like there's three parts to a fire you know oxygen heat and fuel and there's three parts to your faith there's what you believe what you say and what you do 
So your words have to line up with your belief. And if those things are in line, you have to do something. You practice the principles and you do what God says. You say, okay, if you believe that something is true, but you don't do it, then that's it's like sin to you. <laughs> You're not acting in faith because you didn't do what you believe. So how do you expect to get results? So remember that what you believe, change your beliefs, speak what you want to see and not what you don't want to see. And then put your faith in action. Practice those results. All right. So we thank you guys for joining us and uh, hope to see you here again soon. So share, like and subscribe and we'll see you again. Bye bye. Thank you for listening to Crowning Ignorant Kings, where we are cultivating a kingdom community. Please sign up for our podcast, download, like, and share. Look for us on your social media platforms. If you'd like to reach out to us, please send us an email at crowningignorantkings at gmail.com.